Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Systems Sports Picks. Here we develop and share automated systems. Why? Because we want to help you win big and win big consistently. So we are now at the end of the football season. We're down to the final four, the conference championship games. In the New Orleans Saints versus the Los Angeles Rams and the New England Patriots versus the Kansas City Chiefs. So what's going to happen this weekend? Well, let's take a look and we'll give you our best predictions right here. So we're going to look here at our uh, VIP club section and the predictions here. Look at the NFL. We're going to scroll down here to the games. You see the Los Angeles Rams and New Orleans Saints. So the Rams here are burning hot. The New Orleans Saints are average up. If you look here at the chance of winning the ball game, we have a 51.73% for New Orleans, slightly ahead of the 48.37% for the Rams. And New Orleans Saints come in as a three-point favorite in this game. They came off a win, a 20-14 win over the Philadelphia Eagles, uh, ruining their chance of defending their title. And the Rams defeated the Cowboys 30-22. to So there were two good games in the uh, divisional round. So let's take a look at what's going to happen this week, though. If you look at head-to-head, -head, you see that the Saints won 45-35 to as a home underdog earlier this season on November the 4th. But New Orleans is very, very tough at home. That is a big key for this game. Um, if you look at the uh, power rankings indicator, the Rams are up here at plus 31, the Saints down here at plus 28, and that these numbers were as of the 13th. Now, this could change between now and the game because it's only the 13th. The game was the 13th, so we don't know if this was before or after the game, but this is what it is showing at the moment. So now let's look at the uh, volatility oscillator. You see both teams are really pretty stable. The Rams even more stable than the Saints, meaning that they perform uh, more consistently with what their favorite underdog status is. Having said that, we take a look at the line, the Saints are a three-point favorite, right? So that means the Rams consistently, more consistently lose even when uh, an underdog. And in this case here, the Saints are very tough at home, particularly with Breeze at quarterback, particularly in the playoffs. I think the Saints come away with the win. They have a better defense. It'll be a high-scoring game, much like the last time. Not quite as high as 45-35, but in a high-scoring game, look for the Saints to win and cover and represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. Now let's go take a look at the AFC matchup. The AFC matchup, New England and Kansas City. If you take a look here, New England has a slight advantage here as far as prediction as to who will win the game percentage-wise. It's 53% to 47%. Both teams are burning hot. If you look at the uh, power rankings indicator, you see New England since uh, the end of December, they've been on the rise, we're up to plus 29. And then this is the Chiefs. They are up here at plus 24. Now, you see they had a downward trend for a while. Even though the Chiefs were the number one team in the AFC all season long, they lost three out of their or two out of their last five games, excuse me. They're three and two out of their last five, so they dipped a little bit. But they had a very impressive win over the Colts in the divisional round, while the Patriots won by 13 against the Chargers. So let's take a look here. Was there a head to head matchup this year? Yes, in the head to head matchup, again, this was one of those uh, shootouts here. New England actually won as the home favorite 43 to 40 back on October 14th. Now, this time around, the game is in Kansas City, and the Chiefs are a three point favorite at home. Let's take a look at the team volatility oscillator. Take a look at this. The Chiefs are the more stable team. Both teams have been increasing on that stability level, though. But the Chiefs more consistently, again, perform according to their favorite underdog status, and they are favored to win. Now, most people might think, well, New England's going to win. They have Tom Brady. They have the experience. That is very well true. Just going on a gut feeling here. And even here, the score prediction, they're saying Chiefs 22, New England 18. Confidence in prediction 78%. I'm tending to agree with this. I think that the Chiefs will end the dynasty of the Patriots. I think they will win the game. They will cover, and they will meet the Saints in what's bound to be an exciting, high-scoring Super Bowl. Now, if you're not a f big fan of checking out all the numbers and all the stats like this, that's fine, too. There's other ways you can go about uh, forming your uh, 
picks. So go here to the top performing automated systems under hot trends right here. And when you do that, you can scroll down through and select your sport right here. So you would want to select NFL. And I go through this every week, but that's fine because this is a very good tool here for people to look at. And profit time, you might want to look at the last three months. You might want to look at the whole season. Probably want to look at the last three months, but that's up to you. And then you can choose by profit method and you can scroll down through and you see all the different kinds of uh, systems that you can choose from right here. You have a whole bunch of different ones. Just pick one or pick a bunch. Take a look. Okay, so that's it for this week. Enjoy the ball games, the conference championship games, and we'll see you again next time. And again, if you, one more thing. If you're not already a member, please join. Maybe too late for the football season, but there are plenty of other uh, sports coming up. The NBA, NBA playoffs, NHL playoffs, uh, Major League Baseball coming up soon. So there's plenty of opportunities for you to continue to win and win big. Okay, thanks for watching this, and I wish you a great day.